In this video, I'm going to talk about Entity within Microsoft Copilot Studio. Now, Entity as a definition from a Power Platform perspective, from if you think from a Power Platform perspective, an Entity is basically a table. It's a table within uh, your Dataverse uh, environment. Now, from a Copilot Studio perspective, Entity is an information unit that represents the real world subject now entity in copilot studio is different from the entities in power platform environment so you need to make that very clear both the entities are different although the name is similar but the concept is completely different now what does an entity represent in a copilot studio now entity is basically any unit that represents a real world subject like say take for example uh, say city color continent country now country when i say australia or when i say uk or i say usa or america now the copilot should understand that i'm referring to a country if i write a statement say i live in australia then it will pick up the country entity if i properly allocate a specific entity against that statement now in that statement, I can write down, I live in Australia, I work in Australia, I love Australia. Now, if you give all these three statements to the copilot, and if you want copilot to extract that specific data type, then it will successfully do that. Now, like country, you will have continent, postcode, phone number, person name, email, date time, and many more. So I believe there are almost around 29 entities which are available out of the box now some of the concepts like say postcode are all uh, united states focused now so take for example if you want to have a postcode for australia or postcode for india or postcode for any other nation then you need to tweak the postcode entity now what i would recommend in that case is you need to make use of a custom entity now, as you see over in the screen, uh, these are the pre-built entities which are available out of the box, okay? Now, there is an email entity, there is an event, file, language, and there are many uh, out of the box entity, there are almost 29 out of the box entity. Now, all the descriptions are clearly mentioned in this. Now, for a money entity, if you see here, the monetary amount extracted as a number. So basically what happens is if you define a specific entity and if you specify a text which has some uh, representation of that particular data type, like say in, in the example of money, like if I say I want to withdraw 5K from the bank account. Now, when I say 5K means I mean 5,000. So this particular statement will be extracted as number 5,000. Or if I just put dollar 5,000 or pound 5,000, then it will extract the number against that, uh, that currency value. So entity will understand that I'm referring to a specific data type, which is of type money. And it will extract the number out of it. Now there are four different types of entity within copilot studio one is pre-built which we have just seen available out of the box like color age continent city etc then there is a closed list entity now say if you are not uh, happy with the pre-built entities and if your requirement uh, expects something different then you can create a closed list entity which indicates that it is a, a finite list of items that is manageable Okay, so example, if uh, you want to uh, add, say, the sizes of the T-shirt, okay? Now, in your country, maybe if you're calling it something else, say if I'm calling it as uh, SS for short and MM for medium and L for large and XXL and 3XL and 4XL, I can create my own closed list entity and then I can use that within my Copilot application. Then there is something called as a regular expression. Now say if you want to validate some information, like say if someone is adding a passport number, now passport number differs across various nations, like Australian passport number is different from the United States passport number or 
India's passport number. Uh, India has an identifier uh, of PAN card number or Aadhaar card number and US has US social security number or Bahrain has Bahrain CPR number. So now all these items you can create as a regular expression and then utilize within your application. Now there is an, another entity which is called as an external entity which is primarily used for conversational language understanding or natural language understanding implementation okay which i'm going to cover that in a separate video because that's a different topic uh, to target so in a nutshell i'd say there are 29 entities which are available out of the box as of july 2024 entity can be used in a topic we cannot update pre-built entities so pre-built entities will stay as it is we cannot update the logic or the schematic of pre-built entities we can create a custom entity we can add synonyms to items in the custom entity a uh, smart matching option can be turned on to enable the copilot understanding of natural language so if you want to use some sort of a fuzzy logic matching then this particular switch needs to be turned on while provisioning the entity now entity can be referenced in question node and you can register an external entity now this is how the registration of external entity looks like basically you here you actually specify the intents and the entities okay and this is mainly used for uh, language clu conversational language understanding which i'm going to cover in a separate video and how do you use this entity is like uh, once you provision your entity you use a, a question node and then within that question node you need to actually specify what type of uh, data type are you identifying within that string of text so like this uh, we can have a uh, a regex based model whereby you can actually specify the format now here australian passport usually starts with uh, two alphabets at the start and then seven numbers after this those two alphabets so i've written a simple regex to validate australian passport so like this you can also validate uh, your own regions passport or any other identifier if you have one from a uh, custom size perspective as you see over here this is like a custom entity which i've built now i've named it as girish custom size and i have added these particular uh, uh, list item within that now let me jump into the demo and then show you how how these entities are surfaced out okay so i'm in copilotstudio.preview.microsoft.com or copilotstudio.microsoft.com so this is the starting point now i've already created a copilot it's a simple copilot for management of tennis center now here uh, if you go into settings then in settings you will find an entities now within entity there are lot of predefined entity which are already built in okay so there is an age there is a boolean there is a city there is a color so if you see over here there is there are like more than 29 entities okay so take for example if i pick say state okay now if i just click on state what does this indicate is like uh if the user inputs this text okay if the user input this text then it will extract the state from that particular uh sentence now here i can see washington is the text which is a state in uh, united states of america now if you just put az now az is like a state code for arizona okay so then it will identify that okay this is a state and then the saved value is arizona similarly you have south carolina uh, and then it will identify south carolina so take for example if in this statement you say that uh, I, I i live in california so then the california word would be saved as a value because you have specified that it's a state right now this is specific to united states okay so if uh, if you want to search for a state within your region then you need to actually create or come up with your own sort of entities okay so at that point of time you will uh, have a need to build some sort of a custom entity now from an add a new entity if you click on new entity then there are two options get presented close list and regular expression from a closed list perspective i have mentioned that uh, if i want to have a custom uh, say duration okay or custom size so then i can say say girish uh, custom size 
for say some some project okay now this is I'll, I'll just say girish customs has estimation okay and i can put some description around it i can match the smart matching so that i can get the fuzzy logic uh, enabled so if the user misspell the text then i will be able to uh, view uh, I, I should be able to understand this the bot should be able to understand what kind of uh, information that user is trying to portray now from a size perspective i'll just put ss mm and ll okay so if this is how i call short size uh, then this is the representation now the synonyms uh, for small medium and large what i'll do i'll just call this as small okay and then i'll call it as this is small ss okay and i'll call this as medium mm and i'll just call it as large ll if this is how i define the size then i can also specify the synonym so if someone say big you know i want them to be identified as large okay if someone says uh bl okay then it should be treated as say large or maybe if someone say uh, large 3xl then it should be considered as ll or large right so i can give those synonyms for medium i can just say uh, mid okay if someone says mid then it's medium okay uh, or uh, medium mid okay so i can put all the synonyms and then the system will understand it so what i will do i'll just click on save now this is how you basically uh, create a custom uh, entity right now this is a custom entity of the type closed list. Why it is closed list? Because there is a finite number of values which you can track. Like, like in this example, I have three items, right? You can have five items, you can have 10 items. Now, once it is saved, I'll show you in another example, add an entity, click on new entity. And now this time I'm going to create a regular expression. Now the regular expression, which I'm going to create is of type, say, if I want to validate India's man card, okay? Or maybe India's, okay, so I'll just write India's man card. Now the description I can say uh, regex for India pan card. Now pan card usually is of the type uh, like this. So so it's four alphabets, four number okay so let me show you so four alphabets and then four number and one uh, alphabet after that so if you want to write this regular expression what you can do you can just put in like what you want so i want everything in capital so i'll just put a to z and then i'll say okay it should be four at the start and then i want uh, zero to nine because that's the number anything from zero to nine and then that that's again four and then i want one uh, alphabet after that right so this is how i write a regular expression for say india's pan card right so i'll just write india pan card so this is how you basically uh, write your pan card and then after that you can click on save over here so make sure that you have put a correct uh, regex so it is uh, alphabet four number and then zero to nine numbers, four numbers, and then one alphabet, right? And I'll click on save. And this is how you basically use this uh, to create an entity. Now, where are you going to use this, okay? So what you need to do is uh, if you, create if you go into any topic okay so take for example if you I, i'm i'm gonna create a topic and i'll call this as uh, maybe i'll just call it pan extraction okay and then here i will uh, ask for some information okay uh, say pan card or permanent identification so like this we need to specify the phrases but i'm not going to put everything over here i'll just say uh, send a message okay uh, and then from here i'll say okay please enter your pan card okay uh, i'll just say please enter pan card details and once the user starts typing in the information i will uh, then ask a question okay 
I'll just say enter pan info. Okay. And then enter pan info here, I will select the multiple identity, uh, identify multiple choice option as pan card. Okay. So that's India pan card. Now, once I select that, what I want is like I want that value to be stored in the variable. So I'll call this as var pair pan card. Okay. And I'm okay with it. So once it is successful, I will just show that message back, right? So I'll just click on send a message and you entered and I'll put a variable which is where pan card and I'll just thank the user. So this is a simple topic which we have created called as pan extraction and let's start uh, a test on that okay so here when i'm testing the code for it i will just call pan card then it will ask me to uh, enter the pan card details enter pan info and then i will start typing some some gibberish value okay let's see what happens now it has not recognized it and that's why it is telling me to enter it again okay now again i'll put some gibberish value it will not understand it now if i now if i want to put a correct pan value uh, then I need to put a proper value. So maybe the pan value is say, so I put four characters and then four number and then one character, right? And if I put this, uh, then it says you entered this, thanks. So that means it has actually validated this regular expression. Okay, now the, in the first two instances, we gave the wrong value. It has uh, again prompted me for the same information to be entered. But here in this case i have entered the correct or the regex validated number uh, or the character then it has successfully gone into this block and then it has given me this message right so that means we have successfully created a regex entity as well so like this you can also validate the closed entity which you have created now other things to note now there is there was an another entity if you click on entity over here then there is a register and external entity now here you can define a, an external entity but then this copilot will use external language understanding services to extract entities and then here we can create various data type of string boolean number record table and from sample data right but this is a topic for another day uh, this is mainly about uh, having those uh, language understanding system entity built within the application so that's it folks this is mainly all about entities within copilot studio it's an important concept if you understand entity then you should be able to structure your copilot in such a way that you extract uh, you will be able to extract uh, correct information like one example which i uh, forgot to show you is uh, with regards to say color okay now if someone says sapphire blue sedan that means the blue is the color which uh, gets saved if someone say yellow cap or say the ash gray coat, then the gray is the value which gets saved. Okay. Now you user can put any kind of input, like say if there is a money, if someone says uh, it costs thousand euros, then it will successfully pull in thousand and then put it in the saved value. If someone says three items for dollar one k, then to understand that it is talking about one thousand and then it will put that value. Or if I put it in a word, it costs a thousand five hundred then it will put that correct value over here so that's the benefit of using entity it uses that intelligence to extract the label uh, and uh, put it in a proper value so the most of the output will be either in number or string so if you want to know what should, what will be the output against that entity here you will uh, see that information like say continent is always a string country is a string and then email is a string event is a string uh, and then monitor is a number cardinal is ordinal is a number number is a number so like this you will be able to understand what will be the output when this particular entity gets surfaced out uh, during the conversation so thanks for watching